Hello again everybody, I'm Jesse Ladner here once again with another video and today as you probably can tell I got the sprinkler hooked up looks pretty good I was actually out here yesterday testing them for the first time and I don't know how long we, we last used it but I was testing them yesterday we have three of them total and here is the other two I found this one is also a craftsman so with that one out there is a craftsman this is a craftsman this is a Melnor if I said it right but this one's the paint starting to scrape off as you see but the Melnor actually has a problem it's not spraying from all the holes possibly due to a clog so yeah but it works pretty good it, it sprays from most of these holes, I think, except for like about right there is where it has trouble spraying. But this one works. I, I just don't like this one because, you know, the head or whatever is just up too high and someone could trip over that. That's why I don't like that one. This one, it, it's okay. I mean, it's just, you know, that one don't spray. And this one, the head's too high on that one. If someone would have tripped over that, that wouldn't be good. But I was out here yesterday. I had a sprinkler right there, but then I moved it because it was, the ground was getting too wet. So I had to move it all the way back here. I would hook all three of them up on this video, but it's not worth it. I'm just going to have to waste time. I don't think about it. I might, I might demonstrate all three of them. But it's okay if my phone actually gets wet too because it is water resistant. So it's no biggie. It's a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. I even did a um, water resistant test on the on my YouTube channel. It's when I was testing it in the bathtub. So there's the sprinkler. That's the Craftsman. I don't know what model it is. However, I don't know the models of it, but maybe you can guess the model. But let's go ahead and turn it on. So walk all the way here. And I just I just want to save some time there. That's why I paused it there. Here's the hose. Now, as you see, there is some some metal pieces and whatnot. That's because we had to do some pipe work on it. The um, whole pipe just keep coming disconnected, and when it comes disconnected, we have to run all the way out to the well and turn the faucet off for this house. But here we go. We're gonna turn it on. It's running from this garden hose right here the roll up thing whatever you call it and and as you see I don't know if you can see it but that one's working just fine let's go back out here I'm probably going to demonstrate all three of them just so you know but look at that spraying just fine now it's hard to see with the sunlight on my phone, but all right. But yeah, that's one of them. It does have the head, the motor, the motor on there is working just fine, except it does catch a little bit. Hey, right, let's get up the way here. But you know, it does, it does kind of catch in the center some. It does have the, you know, the adjustments for it. But as you see, it's working just fine. Going left and right. Trying to be careful not to get sprayed on. But yeah, as you see. I'll try to get over here real quick. Before it comes this way. That's a close-up shot. Yeah. I think it does kind of catch in the middle some. Maybe the motor's weak or something. I don't know. But anyways, we're going to go back over here and shut it off. And I'll hook up the other one. You can actually hear the well pump running all the way over here. So let's go ahead and turn that off. And let's grab. Let me go get the other two sprinklers and I'll demonstrate those. If I had to say which one's the newest, it'd be this one, I believe. 
this new this black craftsman one would have to be the newest but anyways let me go hook the let's i'm gonna do this one next and do this one last so let me go hook this up and i'll get back with y'all you know what's weird is that this one has a filter screen on it but these other two do not this one's got like a screen on it I did test them before. All right, let me go hook them up. I just want to show y'all that real quick. All right, I got it hooked up now. Let's go turn it back. Let's go turn it on right now. There's the compressor running for the the rec room. Okay. And it's a it's running. <sighs> okay, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> My mind went blank there anyways. Um yeah, so it's running. But again, the reason why I don't like about that one is the heads or whatever is it's just a little higher. And someone could easily trip over that, but this one sprays really good. But so if someone would have tripped over that, that wouldn't be good. I mean, it's good though. I just don't like it. All right. Well, I'll get a close shot to it real quick. I do have, do have them set on full. Now there is options to where you can make it set on, you know, like whatever side you want it on or just leave it in the center left or right center or full but it does have a little leak to it i think yeah you see i don't know if you can see that but it's kind of leak it's got a leak to it oh get out the way before i get wet <laughs> so i'm in the middle of making that video so that one's got a little leak i didn't even notice that till now that's not good Okay, that's off. I just turned that off. So that's shut off. Now, for the one, like I said towards the beginning of this video, that's not spraying like it should. Alright, and that last one's hooked up, ready to go, and let's go turn it on. Okay, and it's on. And it's running. Let's see how it is. This one's spraying pretty good. This one moves faster, as you see. Oh. This one, that one moved, that head moves a whole lot faster. Oh my God, I just got sprayed on. <laughs> well, I'll be, oh yeah, it's actually right here is where it has problems spraying. Ah. <laughs> Darn it, the head moves so quickly on this one. But yeah, this one's got a little problem spraying, but it, otherwise it works pretty good. Yeah, the head moves quickly on this one, as you as you can tell. Oh, it's kind of leaking from right there. I probably didn't connect the. Ah! <laughs> uh, I they probably didn't connect the hose up good enough. Yeah, the head definitely moves quickly. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Has some spraying issues, but it's not horrible at least. It just needs a little maintenance done to it and it will be fully functioning. It's just it's not spraying properly from the heads. But that head moves fast, as you could probably tell. The other two craftsmen, they don't move as the head on there don't move as fast. <laughs> ah <laughs> yep. All right, well, this one's okay. 
this one again this one I just don't uh oh <laughs> this one I just don't like because the head's too high and this one really good mm. the head moves a whole lot quicker on that one though all right well now to, ah! <laughs> all right all right enough enough I'm gonna go shut it off and hook the I'm gonna go shut it off and that will be a wrap is what I meant to say well a little water can't hurt right all right everyone well that's pretty much it that was that was the three sprinklers now it's time well wait what's I finna say oh yeah so that was the three sprinklers that I found they work pretty good now it's time to go have some fun in the sprinklers well sadly I didn't bring my tripod out here I mean I now I'm gonna be playing music so I don't want to get copyright claimed but there you have it those were the three sprinklers two craftsmen's two craftsmen I'm at and one Melner. I swear, I keep thinking there's something wrong with that compressor over there. Anyways, that compressor over there on the air conditioner keeps coming on and turning off too quick. I know I had a fan blade, I had a fan fan motor problem, so it's got a new fan fan motor on it. Probably because the reason why I think it shuts off and on so much, probably because that house um isn't fully insulated and that's actually the house i grew up in but now my older sister and her kids are living over there it's a long story but she probably forgot to put her air con her thermostat up for the day before she went to work so yeah i kind of miss that house but sadly my older sister and the kids with the toys and, and whatnot all on the floor it's a mess me and mom came over there and busted our butts off last year cleaning the house for her. Now it's a complete mess. But over here, we're living over here now. That was my mom's mother's, or Momo, as we call, as I called her. For some reason, my autofocus. I guess the raindrop hit the screen and made it go auto out of autofocus. Anyways. So now I'm with, me and my mom are living over here as well as my younger sister. But. Yeah. I want to see how quickly that compressor comes on and off. I don't know if the microphone can pick it up. But I keep thinking, I don't know if it's got a short on it or what. There you can kind of see it better. You can kind of see it. And I know, I know, I'm getting blamed. I'm, I'm okay. with my ADHD and autism. I get distracted over simple things. I think it's just because she forgot to put her thermostat up for today. But who knows, that house needs a lot of cleaning. And there's the shed right there. Back when my dad was living with us at the time, he had his big old shed, which was like a shop. Ah, I miss those days. I would just look out of my bedroom window and see him in the, sh in the shop every time. That was before Hurricane Katrina, of course. I was only like four. At least three or four, maybe. Five, I don't... Just had a lot of great memories over here. That's the backyard I'm showing. Front yard, I don't know if you can see that. But there didn't, there didn't used to be a carport there. Now I'm breaking... I already broke the topic and whatnot. But, hold on, that room on the right there, that was added on after Hurricane Katrina. Here, let me see if I can get a better shot of 
but hold on. There, you kind of see it from over here. That room on the right there was that annoying after Katrina. Now it's got problems. When it rains, the roof leaks, or I'm sorry, the ceiling leaks. So what is rain dripping in the on from the ceiling in there? So it's got some leaks now. So that room was added on after Katrina. Sure missed that place though. It's heartbreaking, bro. But hey, at least I'm living over there now. Where I, but you know. Well, I'll be darned. I left the keys at, well, I didn't leave. Well, kind of did leave the keys. Did, is it locked? Yeah. Me and my older sister went to get something out the shed yesterday, and I forgot to put the keys back up. So that's the shed. This was also built, I believe it was by my uncle after Katrina. I've shown you that before on a different video. And here's the well. I don't think I ever showed y'all this. Now let's do some trimming. But here's the well. This is actually shared to three different houses. And yep, there's the well, all that. The light is in there during the winter. We use that light during the winter to keep the pump from freezing up and whatnot. So that's why that light's in there. It's just not on. There's a garden hose connector right there. Darn, bro, I gotta do some trimming with this. The door's not perfect, but... You know. So, here's the um, pipes that are going through the, you know, different houses. There's the hose that was... I think this one's, this hose has got a problem. It leaks. So, I meant to do that. So, there's three... It's going to go into three different houses... As you see, the one closest right there is for that house. Middle pipe is for Mulder Sisters. And the left, over at that house, that's actually my aunt's house. So, yeah, it's shared to three different houses. And I, we haven't had that big of a problem. It, work, it works like it should. And, yeah. remember one year, I, I can't remember what year it was. It was like, I think 2017 or so, maybe 26, and we had to re replace the jet out of the well or whatever, whatever you call it. And then not too long ago, we replaced the air, air volume control valve or whatever that is. And then, I was, and then after we replaced the valve, there was bad water coming in the house. So I had to grab the hose, go outside, run the water towards the drain sewer or whatever for a little while to get all that bad water out as that's what happens when you replace your air valve i think it's air valve or something like that that compressor is running pretty good but earlier when i was still dealing with the sprinklers it was shutting on and off too quickly like i thought something was wrong with it uh, i think it's just because I don't know. That compressor's old. And I don't think it's never been replaced since... It's never been replaced since after Katrina, I think. But it had... I know during the a, during a winter, whenever the heat was running, had a fan motor issue. So, because the, the blades were not turning whatsoever. No, it wasn't in defrost mode. I'll tell you that right now. I, if it were in defrost mode, it would be smoking and whatnot. Because that we do have heat... Our units are heat pumps. So I said over here how both of these units, that one and the one in the main house are heat pumps. Same with that one. They're all three heat pump units. So anyways, back to what I was saying. It's, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't in defrost mode as I can tell. Because if it were in defrost mode, it would be steaming and whatnot. But it's just a fan motor was dead. And it was all iced up on the outside. Yeah, so we got the fan blade. Oh, I'm not fan blade during a fan motor fixed. So that's good. One of my uncles actually does his own heating and air company. So, yeah. 
At least we have him whenever we need him. But here is the one from the rec room, which is now my younger sister's room some, somehow. So that's running like it should. Yep. Let's see, is the one on the main house running? Oh, yes, it is actually. But it's all the way on the other side. I have to go around the front yard to completely show it. Uh, it's hard to see. I'll have to go around the front. It's hard to see at this time, but this one's an older unit. I only put, I put, right before I came out here, I put that thermostat up to 77. But during the night or whatever, we put it to 75. And I believe this one's set up to 75 or could be even lower. I don't know. I don't go back in that room much anymore. You can see the drip, see it dripping out the pipe, so that's a good sign. Yep. It could probably be pointed straight up, but I just let it leave it hanging, just you know. Left it hanging like that. All right, y'all. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry I broke the topic. At to uh, sorry I broke the topic, <laughs> but that's gonna be it. And thank y'all so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe. If you're new to my channel, or if you enjoyed this video, it's a tailgater, ion tailgater, harbor breeze only fan. I've shown this before. Yeah, it's a harbor breeze. So that's got that's the one with the broken light switch on it, and it's actually running to the switch that's inside. It's also the fan's also hot wired with the porch lights. So yeah. Actually, just replaced the bug light out of this. This has got an interesting bulb on it. Apparently, the bug light had gone out. This is a really good bulb. I have to say. Anyways, ion tailgater right there. I, I actually did was supposed to make. I did actually make a video of this, but I ended up scrapping it because I don't know. I just didn't feel like uploading. Up oh, there's Malibu. But she can't go out. She can't come outside. Sadly, we're keeping her inside for a reason. Cause in the backyard we got the dogs out here. In the front yard, we're scared that she's gonna get run over. So that's why we're keeping her inside. <sighs> yep. All right. Well, I'm gonna enough talk. I'm gonna go and get in, get in the sprinkler now. And yeah, I'll catch you next time. Peace.